Mom, you're going to college now, right? Yes, I am, sweetie. Can you take cooking classes there? <laughs> I thought you liked my tuna casserole. It was better when you made it drunk. <laughs> Roscoe, I made it when she was drunk. <laughs> oh, mystery solved. <laughs> Sorry. You would not believe what I snaked out of old lady Gorman's shower drain. Mom, please, we're eating dinner. And it's hard enough. <laughs> what? A hairball with a human tooth in it. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my homework. Congratulations. You managed to gross out a boy who keeps his boogers in a jar. <laughs> I need to get going too. Where are you headed? I'm going to a birthday party with Gregory. Gregory, again. Wow, that's been going on a little while now, huh? I guess. When do we get to meet him? Yeah, I'd like to meet young Gregory. Yeah, I just don't see any reason for that. <laughs> oh, come on. There's nothing to hide. Your last boyfriend was a burger flipping stoner who got you pregnant. The bar is very low. <laughs> Why are you so interested in my life? Are your own lives that boring? Yes, the most exciting thing that happened to me today was a hairball with an overbite. <laughs> Tell me about him. I'm a cool mom. I'm hip. I'm happening. I got it going on. How are you ever a stripper? <laughs> Some men enjoyed my awkwardness. Well, what's the deal with this guy? Does he have like a misshapen head, little tiny legs, lazy eye, Canadian? Canadian? That's the border we should be watching. He's just a guy. Where'd you meet him? At school. So he's a student. God, what is with you guys? Just leave it alone. He's not a student. Riley, you know the kind of men your grandmother and I have dated. We are the last people in the world to judge, am I right? Mm, absolutely. You cannot shock us. All right. He's a professor at my school, and he's 42 years old. <gasps> I'm calling the police.